Hi everyone, I'm Patricio Guerra and today I'm going to show you uh, the process of this painting. Uh, I start with a sketch done on a paper. As you can see now, I'm just uh, putting there uh, the different parts that I like from the sketches and the ones that I don't like I'm replacing with something else that I'm going to use as a base for this digital painting. The idea behind this illustration is to create something like a poster to promote a healthier lifestyle. Uh, in this case uh, is with the use of a bicycle for the people who live in the cities and if they want to avoid traffic they can also improve their life uh, with this healthy exercise. For the composition of this illustration, uh, I decided to separate two main elements, like the uh, foreground uh, with the background. For the foreground, I'm going to place there the main part of the message, that is this guy using his bicycle in a very happy way, in a garden with trees and other plants. And for the background, I decided to include different parts of the city, like if you're looking uh, from uphill. And then you will see that as part of the composition, we are going to use a very specific color palette for these two different uh, main elements, for the foreground and the background. Uh, at the beginning we start doing the inking uh, of this illustration. As you can see we started with the sketch so what we are doing is to have this clean ink as best as we can but trying to maintain bold lines in comparison with the different elements because uh, the idea is to have a cartoony effect or a cartoony look. That's why a lot of the shapes uh, have been simplified and I'm not trying to get a perfect detail in all these parts even though the character has a lot of lines are mainly um, stylized. We are going to repeat the same process over and over for all the different elements for all the cars, for all the trees, for all the people that is behind and for everything as you can see now. Well, I, I'll keep talking about uh, this illustration. Um, the idea is to have a cold, very cold palette uh, for the background simulating like a boring environment like it's greasy, uh, it's grey, it doesn't have a lot of light, life on it and for the background, foreground we are going to use very bright, bright colors, vibrant colors also uh, warm, greens, yellows to give this uh, sense of feeling good that there's life on it and there's a lot a lot of um, happiness. Uh, for the different cards that we are putting down uh, in the background, we are using in the same idea, the same uh, goal that it's cartoony. That's why all these have been, have been simplified figures for the different elements. While we are trying to maintain some kind of perspective, I'm very careful that I'm not doing something realistic. If, as you can see now, even for the motorcycle, it's uh, a big simplification about a real motorcycle. It reminds me more to the cartoons like the, um, what's called in English, uh, the Jetsons, uh, more or less the style. 
it's not meant to be like the uh, new cartoons, not the style of any of the new things uh, like Rick and Morty or, or other ones. It's more like an old thing. As you can see, we are following the sketch um, pretty close. Uh, I like it a lot how it came out at the beginning of the sketch, like on paper. That's why I'm trying to replicate the same thing while I'll fix or I change a few details that I didn't like it. But in general, it's mainly the same sketch. I included other elements uh, that there were not in the sketch, like these lines on the floor or on the street, and defining a little more these little people uh, for the background because these are very secondary elements and because I want to save time what I'm doing is I'm changing them a little bit uh, initially by flipping them and changing their positions and then erasing some details and replacing with something else for painting these I decided to start with something like an kind of a neutral background that is this uh, orangey uh, reddish background with a little saturation and a little of light like a medium light value but it's just to not see a white screen this help us to judge better the lights and on the on the painting because otherwise the values are very difficult to, to get and sometimes you can get very bright colors that at the end um, looks way too bright because you were looking at a dark a darker background or the opposite you have very dark colors because you were looking to a very bright screen or a very bright um, background for the painting we are blocking first the the main parts of the of the illustration with the main colors uh, this is not the final look it's just a base we're going to blend light and shadows later on on top of it and we're just going to use this as a base and as you see right now it doesn't look very warm or anything but uh, with the background you'll see that uh, we are going to create a lot of contrast uh, with this purple gray uh, background for the background we are going to have this palette as a base and we are going to make a lot of uh, shadows and, and lights with the same idea we are going to change a little bit the hue but not too much we are not going to put warm lights in the background you will see all of that later on when we get to that part of the process for now we are blocking and we use the same blocking to use layer masks uh, this will help us to speed up the process for painting later on then you don't have to worry a lot about going out of the edges it's very useful this as you can see i'm uh, doing the blocking in this case uh, like by groups of elements I'm not putting uh, the, the color base exactly like we did in the other ones we are more separating the different elements because we are going to use that as a base for the painting I'm not aiming to be very careful about um, be inside of the lines when I do this blocking sometimes it feels a bit artistic and very nice when you have these little mistakes that you have part of the color out of the line it's more like an artistic choice to do like that i could try to be very perfect but that will look like a computer generated image that sometimes when you do things like that in the in terms of art lose something Okay, now as you can see, we are placing some of the colors 
and these are little variations in a similar hues. We are not going to jump to the other side of the hue trying to put warm lights or warm base colors, uh, oranges or uh, reds or greens. We are trying to maintain something close to this purple cold color palette. Well, the blocking is almost done and when we have this ready, we are going to jump to the next step. That is uh, putting the lights and the shadows. Uh, we are going to start that with the foreground. Um, you will see that soon. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we are going to start with the background. But we are going to start placing lights and shadows soon. To have something more coherent with the background, I decided to paint uh, some of the lines that we did in the inking with a darker blue. This darker blue blends with the colors and doesn't call too much the attention to the eye. It's just an artistic choice. You, you could have um, made them black if you want. It's, it's just uh, your choice. And I do the same for the foreground. I'm, I'm erasing a little mistakes that I had, and I'm painting uh, the light, of the, the lines of the inking with a cool color, with a blue version of the color. Well, now you can start looking how we start defining the shadows, and the, uh, by by doing this, we do at the same time the lining of the of this scene. I, I'm using texture brushes for these, especially for the floor. Looks, I think, very nice when you do like that. The only thing that I'm trying to maintain is um, keeping in mind is not putting the wrong color on top of the wrong place. Like, uh, we have a base color and we are working with that. I'm imagining how is the light coming from one side and that's how we are doing the this part we start with the shadows but later on we are going to start placing highlights that will give a little push to this drawing uh, as you can see now on the cars you can have a better idea of how is the direction of the light although i i'm using at the beginning a very black color uh, I'm using the blending modes to soften these a little bit to get something more, uh, I wouldn't say accurate, but more interesting for my taste. Because I don't want to give the idea that it's a very bright light. Uh, actually, I prefer if in the background looks like it's a dark place. Like there's a lot of smoke on the top of it and the light of the sun cannot go through the clouds. This will help me to reinforce this concept of living in this very healthy environment. The composition hasn't changed much. It's been decided in this case from the sketch. Sometimes I do the opposite. I start doing the sketch and then I change it to improve the composition. In this case, I like it how I did the sketch, how was composed the sketch of the different elements. That's why I'm keeping it. Well guys, this is basically the illustration, I hope you like it and thank you for watching. Um, if you like it, please share it, follow me and you can subscribe to my social media. Uh, I would appreciate if you can consider support me, uh, with your help I can keep creating more art like this. If you want to see more of this uh, speed painting process, you can watch them on Patreon. I invite you to check my Redbubble shop, there you can buy cool products with my art on it in a lot of things, t-shirts, phone cases, puzzles, uh, bags, clothes and a lot of more things. And if you want to have high quality prints of my art, you can have them on ArtStation. Thank you guys for watching and see you very soon.